Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a beautiful morning here in Kampala. Yes, guys, we're back in Kampala. Okay. Uh, Leo, <laughs> this vlog is going to be about me cooking Ugandan food. I think you've read from the title already. Like, it's totally unplanned. I woke up craving for like matoke, binyebwa, and dodo, you know? And I was like, why not pick up the camera and vlog it for you guys? Like, seeing me, a Kenyan chick, cooking ugandan food please don't judge by the way this is just how i know how to make it but i'm sure like the professionals know how to like really really make it but this is my version of how i cook ugandan food so yeah i just washed my face you can always count on your girl to show up on your screen bare faced guys so you know i don't feel like the problem of me showing up in front of your TV screen or your phone without makeup. Tadi ambaya, guys, but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. It's a learning journey. It's a learning journey. Plus, the confidence is at a hundred, guys. <laughs> My confidence is at a hundred, guys. Anyways, uh, I'm about to leave and go to Bugolobi. That's where I buy my uh, food, like matokes and all the needful. I'm gonna buy them from. Uh, Bugolobi and also get my eyebrows done because what is this? <laughs> what is this? Guys, I really have bushy eyebrows. You have no idea. Some people are like, you should let them grow out. But <clears throat> I don't know. I still don't have the courage to do it. But we'll see. We'll see. But for today, we're gonna we're just going to do something about it. I'm going to see Anita, who is my eyebrow specialist. Guys, I usually thread my eyebrows. It's painful i know but you know it gives good results and the results last longer so yeah i'm not a person who'll be like going up and down to the salons every time anyways enough blaga blaga let's get to this video shall we so this is what i'm wearing going to the market yeah this is what we are dealing with right now okay <laughs> reached at the salon and these are my eyebrows before i didn't get anita guys i got subash here yeah, it's also Hello. at color salon mugolobi so yeah let's do my eyebrows now mm -hmm. my eyebrows are done guys uh, I like threading. It just gives that finish, you know, that beautiful, beautiful finish. Okay, twenty is too so funny. The market is just downstairs. It's not very far. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, guys, we're inside Bugolobi Market, and in here in Uganda, if you say you want potatoes, you'll be given sweet potatoes. The Irish potatoes are called Irish, so yeah, you need to note that down. And check out this woman, the way she's a pro. She's peeling the matoke without even looking. What? I can't even. I can't. I got my smoked fish also. And I headed home. Uh -huh. I got home and I started unpacking my things, my banana leaves, my njugu, my fish. Guys, from Kenya, my people from Kenya, do you guys remember these black plastic bags? Do you guys remember just plastic bags? Eh, hey, so nostalgic, eh? <laughs> so I just got home and I'm going to dive directly to this. No waiting. 
so my matoke is already peeled i'm just going to wash it and i'm going to show you how i set it up in this furia so i got myself some banana leaves they were really really huge i had to cut them down and like you know just just how they do it i just copy what they do honey don't come at me with so many questions just do what i'm doing okay this is how they do it okay so yeah i line up my sufuria with uh the banana leaves yeah guys i had this uh also gives the matoke a really nice taste you know kuna kale ka taste ka moja ka flani ka flani ka matoke kana tokezia when you do this technique i'm not sure guys but yeah I usually like how the matoke comes out, so I had to try the same technique. I place my matoke inside like this way, and then I start covering it like this way. Guys, just look, just look. Hey, hey, it's only skills, Jamanini. I just see my neighbors doing this, so I'm also doing it. Yeah, you trap, trap the steam like this. This is how you're going to trap the steam inside the matoke so it doesn't escape. I put like another one there because I have extras. Yeah, yeah, round, round like that. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take my water. The water now, the water is not supposed to be going on top of the sufuria. You're supposed to place it under. Kule chini chini, you know. Kule chini chini, it's not supposed to go on the matoke. And then you place it on the fire and let it cook. Now to who you samaki. You see this samaki, this one, eh? It is very, very stiff and very, very hard when you bite. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it into half because my sufuria is small. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put it in my sufuria and I put some warm water. Not hot, just warm. But my warm water was not enough. So I added a bit of like tap water and I would let it like just soak for like 30 minutes, one hour until the skin is like ngozi is soft, soft. Next, I'm going to jump into my jinats. Guys, this is in njugu. Like this is how they sell their njugu in the market. I usually buy it like this. And then I start making my njugu mchuzi. My njugu sauce. My famous Uganda njugu mchuzi wabinyebwa. Yeah, this is how they do it. I'm going to put that amount in there. Because, yeah, it's just only three. Around three people who are going to eat this. Yeah. I'm going to mash it up very, very, very well. Mash it up like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vruga, 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 manangu. Vruga, manangu. Vrunya, manangu. And then put <laughs> water in there. Yeah, that's warm water, by the way. Lakini naona hii tabia ya kutumia kijiko bana nchokesha. So I just use this potato masha as a shortcut. Yeah, but still there's no shortcut at this, guys. It's like making ugali. I, I continued mashing, mashing, mashing. Nikavurunya, nikavurunya, nikavurunya. We, nikavurunya. And then I added a little bit of water. And then nikavurunya some more. Just You just need to vurunya, vurunya until all the lumps are gone like this. You have a smooth consistency. Yeah, yeah. My name is Hayatoki. A smooth, con a smooth consistency. We, hey, voice over. Tanikoma safari here. This is what you want, you know. And then you add your chumvi, munyu. You add in there, okay. Koroga, koroga, upate nguvu okay i like what i'm seeing so i'm satisfied with this consistency i'm just gonna pop it on the heat at a very uh, medium low heat before coming to live in uganda i was always told that ugandans have this famous sauce called um binyebwa it's a ginat sauce it's really famous so i'm so happy that i know how to make it now by myself i don't have to go and buy it so yeah my ginat is still cooking at a low heat as you can see i'm gonna add this and this yeah and another one this okay you add and then you mix it just for flavor you can add spices if you want but i like this genuine ginat taste i put my fire on low and i go back to my fish now my fish as you can see guys the skin has already softened and it's like peeling on its own you can see that so what we're gonna do is just remove the flesh from the bones here guys you need to be very very careful because you know my my food my kids eat my food so i don't want them to get choked by the bones so you have to remove every every tiny single bone and just be left with the fish flesh sour sour are we together so after that this is what i came up with this is what i've yielded from my fish i drop it in my binyebwa there i koroga it very very well i mix it well guys i really love being able with fish like with fish inside it it's so delicious it's one of my favorite ugandan delicacies 
and yeah i'll hop on to my next dish which is the dodo guys dodo is a green like mchicha they have here in uganda by the way in uganda they have in uganda they have a lot of uh, green leafy vegetables a lot of variety as opposed to like you know just your normal sukuma your normal spinach they have other other ones that i don't even know the names but i love dodo dodo is my favorite so this is how i make my dodo a bit of a stir fry kiasi kwa mbali si mafuta mingi and then <laughs> guys this part was very difficult for me to shoot because i was holding the camera on one hand and the sukuma on one hand but you know your girl has to get used the content you know so yeah add some chuvi and close next we're gonna check on the matoke i think it has cooled off kiasi it's well cooked mm, look at that steam guys Yummy, yummy matoke. Uganda has one of the softest matoke ever. The matoke here is really fluffy. Like, when I tell you it's really fluffy, you gotta believe me, guys. I'm about to mash it, okay? So this is how we're gonna mash it. I'm just gonna... Ruja. 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 This was literally like a whole workout for me because ah, I was out of breath after this. And yeah, this is what I came up with. It was not fully mashed. It still had some like solid, solid pieces, which I don't mind. It's how I like it. I don't like it completely mashed like baby food. No, I like it with a bit, bit of like, you know, chewy, chewy bits. So this is what we were left with. And I transferred it in my kibakuli because I wasn't planning to like serve it like that, you know. I'm sure, guys, you can tell how soft it is by just looking at this video. It's so soft. I don't know why uh, Kenyan matoke is not as soft as Ugandan matoke. I just don't understand that type of uh, <laughs> difference. But I really appreciate the softness. Even in, like, Ugandan muhogo, Ugandan sweet potatoes, they're equally just as soft and fluffy. So my binyeba is ready. As you can see, the oil has already risen on top of the sauce. If you see this... This is the Ginat oil that has, it's a natural oil. So it's a very healthy oil. You can just eat it. It doesn't matter. Do not be afraid of it. So yeah, this means our bunyebwa, our Ginat sauce is ready, guys. And I'm starving. I'm going to proceed in serving myself. Yes. So I'm going to put in some matoke. Guys, they usually use a small saucer plate, like a saucer, to put the matoke. I didn't have one. So yeah. Yeah, I put a sweet potato over there because I love Ugandan sweet potatoes with binyebwa. It's my favorite combo. And of course, the famous... <laughs> Guys, look at that. The famous binyebwa. And then I put my delicious dodo in there. Guys, this food is so healthy. Some people say that it's a lot of starch, but this is healthy starch as opposed to like eating processed food, canned food, you know, like with preservatives and sugar. This is a healthy food. Karibuni wapenzi watazamaji. Guys, kuleni kwa macho. Kuleni kwa macho. You guys have no idea how tasty this food is. You have to try it by yourself for you to know so yeah i approve this was so good guys if you know you know if you know you know if you've tried ugandan food you know what i mean guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and you are going to try to cook some ugandan food even if you're not in uganda and for my ugandan followers and my uganda subscribers please rate me down below I know I'm not perfect, but read me down below. You know, it's not being my cultural food, but how did I manage? <laughs> Guys, sweet potato and vinyabwa. Best combination ever. Mm. Best combination. guys thank you for watching please subscribe share with your friends like leave me a comment down below and i'll catch you on my next video bye